Yeah, I'm done. Okay, um, I did the Emperor's New Clothes. And the first scene is um, when the weavers are talking to the Emperor. And I went for a more abstract look. And this black figure here is supposed to have a big cloak that he's wearing. And um, I put these knives behind the back to show kind of like symbolic of their planning on betraying him, stabbing him back. And I went through some background changes and um, ultimately ended up with this one. And then I went into the crown and I wanted to make it look more evil, make him look like a more um, menacing emperor to give more of a reason for them to want to betray him, I guess. And then this is the final scene for that, for the first scene. And then the second scene, I wanted it, I wanted to uh, put the scene where the emperor is going to check on his clothes to see if they're there to actually look at them. And I started out with just this eyeball, and I added eyelids, a little bit more detail to show, just to make it more obvious that it's an eyeball. And then, that is an empty spool and a needle to show that there's no clothes being actually made. And I made them bigger. And then again, went into more detail to make it more obvious that it was an eyeball. And this is what I ended up with. This is the final scene. My second. And then the third scene is him walking through town. And um, these right here are all the townspeople pointing at him as he walks by, showing, showing that he's naked. And I added more, put on more variety with the color. And then I changed the road to gray, not only because it looks better, but to kind of show that you know he's kind of unsure of himself now. He doesn't really know what's going on. He doesn't, yeah, he's just unsure of himself and what's going to be ahead of him now. And then I changed it to white to keep more of him consistent with the rest of it, and I added more hands also. And this is the final scene for that. Um, Jessica. Um, I really like how you did the eye scene, how you chose to do something a little bit different, and how you like showed the reflection in the eye of what he was seeing. It's just a little, like, a different way of portraying a scene. I like the um, colors you used. They were uh, probably the best colors you could pick. However, you do have um, five colors in there. There's white, black, gray, red, and or actually, oh, that's four. Never mind. <laughs> uh, I think the man. I think here the gray substituting for a color rather than yeah. Yeah. Okay. I like how you like tried so many different things with each scene. Okay, I shouldn't be the only one having to do the critique here, nor should the critique team. Adrian, um, what made you choose this color <coughs> scheme? Um, I kind of went into it with the colors that I, I knew what I wanted because I wanted it to seem like a darker, more um, evil king or emperor. And um, the style that I wanted, I wanted everything to kind of seem like a silhouette instead of actually making detail within the characters to make it more abstract and symbolic. Kind of. and so where in the story is the emperor evil? Well, it's... I kind of took that into, I kind of made that my own. Yeah, well you can't just do that though. No. Because then what is the moral of your story? What's the point of the plot? Well that he was, well in the story it says he's, he's vain. So yeah. I made him, like I said, I made him darker because that gives him a reason to want to betray the king or the emperor. But vain isn't evil. 
And if there's a reason to betray the king, if he is evil, then um, the heroes of the story become the swindlers, which doesn't make much sense. Why do they be called swindlers? I mean, if this is an evil king, you've got to have a story that goes with an evil king. And this is where you have your, the problem with this. We don't even have, um, go back to the, the slide sorter, if you can permit this. Yeah, just, you can either go to the end or you can right click and. I want the slide sort of view so we can see them all at once. Yeah. yeah. I don't know, your mouse disappeared on you. Because it's scaled. Oh, okay. Okay, now look through here. The swindlers are just these little shapes there. If they're really important, they need to dominate these scenes in some way. And the other thing about the swindlers is it's kind of a cheap trick to just put a symbol on the back of a dagger. Really, what, if there's a symbol going with these swindlers, it's probably the dollar sign. But we don't want to use symbols really. Soon. We want the characters themselves to show this. Um, I think that the problem here is when you start out and you decide to reinterpret the story, you don't have a story left because there's got to be a hero and a villain and there's got to be a moral. And if the story is he's a bad king and deserves to die, um, we don't usually promote that without having a hero who kills the king, you know what I mean? And um, king or emperor or whatever, what you want to put the ruler. Other questions or comments about it? You did a good job of using all the space there. And the problem with the title is it's the emperor's new clothes, not the emperor's new cloths. Okay, so you want to be careful about that. Um, anybody else have another observation? Okay, thank you very much. Is it still working?